Have you ever been scrolling on Instagram and come across this? Many users, including celebrities and influencers, are sharing such pictures on Instagram. It uses artificial intelligence. Transforming human selfies into works of art. These pictures are generated using a photo editing app called Lensa AI. Lensa AI. Lensa AI. It's called the AI phenomenon. A month ago, an app called Lensa went viral when users were able to get AI pictures rendered of them with photorealistic results. And everyone looked so good that I had to do the opposite. Today, I decided to get the AI to create over a thousand of the most disgusting, horrible renders of me. This means using Snapchat filters, pulling horrible faces, and using other people to make me look as crazy as possible. At the end of all this, I've asked my good friend to help create a website to have a gallery of my worst pictures on display. And behind this sheet, I have a picture so bad, it's artistically a masterpiece. It's ready to send out to a brand new subscriber. So if you subscribe and comment on my Instagram saying you want this picture, I'll sign it and maybe by the end of the video, I'll be sending it your way. Test 1. Base Form Leo The first time I used this thing, the app required you to pick 10 to 20 good photos, which was near impossible for me to do. But when I did and it finally loaded, I was hit with this. It costs money and I'm brown. So I hate spending money. $17.99 for 200 different looks. This was gonna cost a lot. I said screw this and I decided to get on with my day. But as I was gaming, my phone started to call out to me. Everywhere I looked, I saw the AI portraits. Every website I went to made me remember the very thing I was trying to forget. I had to see what AI Leo looked like. So I did. It took 20 minutes and when I got them back, I was, uh... Uh... Oh, what the hell is this? What have they done to my face? Oh. <laughs> my eyes are not actually like this, right? My goodness, son. What is this about? Are my eyes really that bad? What is this about? <laughs> my face is not that fat. I look like I ate a whole pack of jelly donuts. Do you know who else? There are pictures that look decent. This is more accurate, I would hope, of me. This one's pretty good as well, I would say, with the glasses. But, <sighs> wow, there's a lot of dank. You know, I might look good with pink hair. If I hit like a million subscribers, I'll get pink hair. Maybe. I just look like an IT support guy. You know? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? This is why I say I don't like giving apps photos. Oh my goodness. It looks like I've been flattened by a truck. Well, I guess some of these photos are good and some of these photos are bad. If this is the baseline, I have no idea what's gonna happen from here. After sifting through the photos, I found the best 10 to showcase. Some of them were Instagram worthy, and some of them made me look like I got hit face first by a plane, which basically means two things. Everyone who I've seen posting about this app picked a select few good photos, making it seem like every AI picture was incredible when a lot of them were unusable. And two, they paid for this. It isn't just a trend, this is a business. The problem was, I was gonna have to do it again, and again, and again, and again. Test 2. Leo combines his face with a friend. Just like my favorite show DBZ, we were essentially trying the fusion technique. What we would do is take 10 pictures of each of ourselves in similar positions, and hopefully the AI would be confused as to which one of us to base the paintings off. I have no idea if it's actually gonna work, so we got to work. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? What is that? Suppose. Oh, God. <laughs> if Carlos and I had a baby, that kid would look amazing. Damn! So the test had worked exceptionally well. Our features had been combined subtly enough that it genuinely could be a different person. Although, some photos were borderline crimes against humanity. What the hell is the- Anyway, I picked 10 more for the gallery and moved on to the next test. Test 3, Leo combines with brown people. In case you haven't noticed yet, I am brown. So. 
What if I combine my face with other brown people who vaguely look like me? There are 1.3 billion of us after all. I split this one into 10 photos of me and 10 of various celebrities. The people I chose are Shah Rukh Khan, my favorite Bollywood actor, Amir Khan, because he reminds me of Indian Mr. Bean, the brown dude from The Big Bang Theory, Lily Singh, Aziz Ansari, three random dudes to add some spice into the mix, and of course, Gandhi to cap things off. I put the photos into the app and started to feel like that dude from the Powerpuff Girls, mixing and matching different genes to create a super Indian. Honestly, I was getting quite nervous as time wound down. There was a big chance this would look like some deformed sculpture of someone who tried to draw me from memory after having 10 shots, but the results were in. Oh my god. What is this? Uh, what the hell? Clearly Gandhi has taken an influence in some of them. This one looks a little bit like uh, Shah Rukh Khan and maybe Aziz Ansari. Oh, this looks like maybe me mixed with a little bit of someone. Because I am in it more times than other people, I thought that there'd be an easy way to distinguish which one is me. Well, this one's definitely me. That's as close as I could see it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't it's like I created my own version of a deep fake, but you can't really tell who's who. Like, there's not enough of anyone in particular. I don't know, this looks like a dystopian version of me from a different century. There's me, oh my god, it's me, mixed with a lot of shit. This feels weird. Anyway, on to the next one. Test 4. Leo turns into a pretty girl. I had started to come across some unsettling articles talking about female gender selected participants who had been getting pictures back where they had less clothing on and were overly sexualized for seemingly no reason. To make certain this wasn't the case with the app, I thought it would be best to try it out myself. I even took some of me as a girl using Snapchat filters. Problem is, I sound like a guy. And decided to look at the results. I really hope nothing too bad is gonna happen. But the results completely shocked me. I was beautiful all this time. I had been searching for the perfect person, but the perfect person was her all along. I actually look pretty good as a girl. It's not bad. This is so weird. How weird is this catfish that you could potentially trick someone into thinking this is me? This would be me if I married myself, so. I mean, this is as close as we get, but it's not too bad. I haven't been sensualized at this point yet. Even in the sci-fi looks, Keep it pretty classy, so maybe I'm just a classy little gal. Right. Guess AI doesn't always get it right. Okay, seriously though, I didn't encounter any issues with sexualization. Everything seemed tasteful. I don't want to take away from what other people have been experiencing, so I will say this. You know, I actually wonder if the company had gotten some sort of backlash from overly sexualizing people to the point that they changed their methods. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below because that's something that I'm thinking. I can't prove it, but I can prove this. My mom thinks I'm exotic and gorgeous, and she totally got catfished by her own son. Okay. On to the next one. Making me look ugly. Step five, Leo goes ugly. After a full day of looking at myself in various outfits, designs, and genders, I was exhausted. I thought I had almost everything I wanted, except I didn't play fair. The whole time I had used external factors to tweak the results, to trick the AI into painting someone that wasn't me. When I looked at my original pictures, I wondered if I could get the AI to draw me in the worst possible way. So I grabbed some gear, grabbed some outfits, and decided to do a photo shoot. And I'm gonna make the weirdest facial expressions, and you're gonna take pictures of it. <laughs> oh, this looks terrible. How did I even do that? I don't know, man. I mean, some of these. Oh, what? The oh, 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 what did you do? What, what did, did you do? Did you guys know that you could do this? I didn't know you could. <laughs> this has been quite the journey. It feels a little embarrassing to put your face out there, and this is a little scary for me, but I didn't think it would be. There were some people watching us. Yeah, so they were watching us, <laughs> probably judging us and things. It is a little scary to put yourself out there, but in the name of science in and hopefully science a good video. And knowledge. And knowledge. Knowledge. Hopefully the app will not be able to detect what my real face is supposed to look like and create some really, really wild images. Let's see how it goes. 
Okay, so I channeled my inner Ace Ventura. I used every facial expression I could. I'm scared to put this out to the world, honestly. I don't know how it's gonna be, but this is what we've been waiting for. So, um, I hope it's good. And after that embarrassing experience, we were done. We just had to wait for the photos to come through. Holy <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> <laughs> that just looks like you, G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! My guy is melting, bro. What bro, your happening? demon exists in that. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? What's happening like, to your hands? Yeah, what's up with your hands? Nah, that's fly. That's cool. That's yeah. you in a solid 20, 30 years, right? I don't even know what this one is. Is that Nicolas Cage on the t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and what's with the hands, G? Oh, <laughs> oh my. This is just fire. Oh, fucking, I need another drink, man. Holy this is, now, this one uh, I thought was quite artistic. Jeez, I don't you got know sausage what, fingers. Yes. The goal was to break it, and we broke it really well. Like that looks like an album cover. Yeah, yeah, it really does. Oh my god, you look like fucking Edward Scissorhands, but he yeah, melted yeah. his scissors. Like, yeah. <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> I can't figure this one out. How this happened? Now that, that's art right there. That's like your evil twin brothers right there. Yeah. Which one's the evil one? The one on the back or the front? The fact that the AI could do this and now it's open for interpretation because of how bad it is. I don't know if that's art, but like making teaching- Like abstract. abstract. Yeah, yeah, very abstract. To almost do art again. And then the last one, weirdly enough, looks like a Fortnite skin. <laughs> 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 it's like I used the material from the hat to then create a beard. <laughs> With all the pictures I had, we initially planned to set up a website, but Auckland's weather had been crazy. The downpour had meant it was really hard to get in touch with my friend who would create the website. <laughs> so there was only one thing that I could do. Boom! Merch drop! Limited time only. Get yours now. Link in the description. I call them Ugly Leos. With all the money I paid to get these AI pictures, I thought I might as well get some back. But not only that. Drumroll, please. After 1,000 AI pictures, I had found the one. The beauty. And it was a beast. I'd be sending this one out to some unlucky subscriber. Here it is. <laughs> Chef's kiss, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen some things, really. You've seen a lot of things. <laughs> you just clearly haven't seen yourself in the mirror, by the way. You clearly haven't seen a toothbrush either, dude. <laughs> I, was say, that's, that's, uh, I only got three uh, teeth and I still don't use them. <laughs> I guess at the end of the day, there's something insincere about a bunch of computers using algorithms to create art. On the outside, it looks amazing. And for a moment, everyone seems to love it. But unlike the works of Van Gogh, it lacks something only human art could give you. So maybe I am an artist for creating this disaster piece. Or maybe, just maybe, I've lost my damn mind. All right, Let's see how he did with all the, the lens of pictures. Oh my, what the hell? Bro, what in the, oh, jeez. Come on, man, you get, relax. What is all this? It's not the, not the prettiest I've ever seen you, bro. I mean, like, whoa! <laughs> I think I went too far. I still, I still think about you.